So the power just went out. You're in the middle of a blizzard or a hurricane and you're gonna be without power for a while. How am I gonna cook my dinner? That's coming up next. So your power just went out and you don't know how you're gonna be able to cook. They're telling you it's not gonna be back on for a little while. So now what do you do? Well, you see here, you got, uh, you got some options, okay? You got this Coleman stove. Now as you can see, that thing's used. That thing is uh, 20 some odd years old, all right? It's got a lot of use out of it, but the sucker cranks up every time I use it. So buy something good. This is back when these were still made in America, unfortunately, because uh, most of all the Coleman products now are made overseas. But a good propane flat top stove will do you just fine. It runs off these little propane cylinders, or if you wanted to, bear with me for one second. You can buy these neat little adapters. And what this does is, this takes and hooks into a 20 pound or a 50 pound propane tank, and this hooks into the stove, and you can have a limited amount of gas a lot more than these little one cylinders. You know, a four pack of the cylinders at Walmart, I think it cost you like 15 to 17 bucks, something like that. You know, sometimes you can get the, the two pack for 9.98. Um, you wanna make sure you got yourself a percolator, a coffee pot. Um, this is stainless steel. Um, I like them with uh, a hinge on it. So this way here, I can take, and uh, if I have to, I can cook over a fire, so. Um, the next part is here, you can, uh, Coleman actually sells these little ovens. Uh, I have a really nice oven, actually my son has it now up north. Um, but I have this oven here that I, I bought. And you put this, it just, it's all metal. It, it folds right out, boom, and it sits on top of your stove here. And it comes with your thermostat and the whole nine yards and you have an oven that you can bake in, cook in, whatever you wanted to do. Uh, the next little thing here is, so you can get these little campfire type deals. It's a little wood. And don't forget about if you have a charcoal grill or a gas grill, or even on your property, if you have even just a fire pit, you can put wood in there and get a fire going and cook on that if you have to. Or if you're also like me, I have a gas flat top. So. Don't forget those objects either, and make sure you have supplies for them. So, well, it's not wood, it's metal, excuse me. It's a metal stove. It comes with these uh, these little blocks that you can light and burn. You can also can burn wood in it. Or you can buy yourself like a sterno or something, and you can put that in there to cook on. Um, I like, if I'm gonna cook it on fire, um, cast iron is the only way to go. And the only thing to use is, as you can see, that is from Lodge. Uh, I wouldn't buy anything else. Um, Lodge has been around longer than most people watching this video. Um, a couple of cool things that I have picked up and that I'm dying to get out and try, um, but I haven't made it there yet. Uh, this is from uh, Malo and Me, and this is their little cook set. You get a little pot. This is from, goes right into your backpack. I think the whole thing weighs less than five ounces. You get a little like little frying pan, you get a pot, it comes with a lid that goes from and it goes onto the pot. In here, they give you a, a little scrubby to clean your stuff. Uh, you get a ladle, a little bowl, a little wooden spatula, and as I call them, a spork. And that, that all comes in the kit itself when you buy it. Now when I bought this kit, um, I got this kit off of Amazon. I believe the kit cost me, I want to say uh, around 30 bucks, I think it was, right around there. And then the handles, as you can see on here, the handles fold right down so they go nice and flat. <clears throat> this, this, this on there. I got a box. It goes like this. And then it has a little bag that everything goes into. 
Um, another thing that I have that I picked up, um, this is from Coleman. Um, it comes, it comes with a, a plastic cup and a plastic bowl. Um, it's, it's stainless steel. It has the metal um, handle grip. Um, a, lot, a lot of people, you know, that I have watched on some videos, you know, they had mixed reviews about these things. Um, the handle part here and everything else, but uh, Amazon had these for 19 bucks. So I figured for 19 bucks, I'll give it a shot. And you know, you can always cook over wood, uh, wood fire. You know, and then, like I said, if you want to have a wood fire, you want to make sure that you got some cast iron. Um, that'll be the best. Um, if you're cooking this on a fire, you're gonna have to do it just on coals only. Don't put it over the fire. The thing with this thing here, because it'll probably just ruin it. Um, so you want to make sure that the, um, you know. This can go over the fire, right over a fire, and this you can have to cook on the coals. So that kind of breaks that down a little bit and gives you a little, a few ideas what you can have on hand just in case that the power does go out and you need to uh, cook something, boil something, make a pot of coffee or something like that. And don't forget about if you have a charcoal grill or a gas grill or even on your property if you have even just a fire pit. You can put wood in there and get a fire going and cook on that if you have to. Or if you're also like me, I have a gas flat top. So don't forget those objects either and make sure you have supplies for them. Um, it gives you some, you know, a few ideas and um, hopefully uh, in the near future I will be able to get out and actually get into the woods and then try out some of these products. Um, I won't be carrying my big camping stove out in the woods. Obviously, it's just going to be too much weight. Um, I personally would just like to cook over a fire. But I'd like to try out some of the other products also and do reviews on those. So until the next time, my name is Charles. This is Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And I will catch you on the flip side.